last video of the day. Dollar index is up. Uh, finally, we trace itself back to 93.65. It is midnight. Uh, 50 minutes for Sydney to close. I'm expecting a dollar to drop back for London sessions. Euro and pounds probably going to. I'm expecting euro and pounds to retrace itself. Uh, what is news? There's more than that. Swiss franc released in half an hour. Uh, Euro's got their. That's right, their GDP at five. No, it would be four in the morning. But they also got their uh, uh, German and Spanish news as well. Along uh, the pounds got their house price index. So that's why I said be ready for London reversals. Just because they're dropping back before London doesn't mean they're going to keep dropping for London. Remember that. Pay attention to the 30 minute and the one, uh, one hour chart. See how it's bottom up right here. It's almost back to the same support here. 1336 again, yep. Let me take a layer one more time on support here. Come on. I'm pretty much. Uh, almost there. 117.813, it's at 117.9, 30 minute. So pay close attention to the 30 minute and the uh, one hour. USDJ bar actually went back up to uh, 112.5. Uh, we'll probably try for 112.6 where the initial drop was last time. This is a, down a 30 minute chart. One hour, it's already on the upper band here already. That's why I said I'm not really expecting much. So it'll probably try to break off at 112.6 and then immediately shoot itself back down. Um, gold dropped back to 12.6. Nope, more than that. 12.59. What I see. Yeah, two breakouts. One here, one here. 12.59. Okay. It'll regain itself during 11 sessions. AUD still at the pound support again, the same support, yeah, same support line. 75, probably retrace back to 75.7. This is on the 30 minute chart. If not, when, if Sydney closes in, in 45 minutes, so if it does not retrace, after the close, then it's just going to be a hard sell. New Zealand, the New Zealand drop back is on the one hour chart. Let's take a look at the 30 minute chart. Yeah, so New Zealand's going to drop back before Sydney closes. If they don't retrace during, uh, during the close of Sydney within that one hour before London, then they're just going to end up being a sell. Now, unless if the U.S. dollar drops a lot, then they'll go against the U.S. dollar. Um, yeah, USD Swiss franc is rising up. Remember, there is there is news for the Swiss franc in half an hour. So just because it's rising up before the news doesn't mean it's going to be good. That debt will keep rising up. USD CAD rising up. 30 minute. Mm, I don't really foresee it. Keep going. No, I don't. Nope. I'm expecting US dollar to drop during London sessions and it'll pick its feet back up when New York hits in the morning. Just like the just like yesterday morning. So there you guys have it for my predictions.